Okay, so we stand here with the uh, two of the uh, Celestron's heavy amounts. You get the CGM, uh, not the CGM2, it's CGM1, and you get the CGX. This one is uh, hyper tuned, not by me, but I've been hyper tuned. And uh, this one is brand new. It's been out the box for about two, three days, and I had it out for a couple of hours last night. I did a problem with the uh, spikes in the RA axis and PHD2 complained about um, bad uh, backlash on the deck axis. So I want to look into to this and see what we can do about that because that is not on. Yeah, so I'm just going to do a little test here by checking how the friction is in both of them by comparing the swinging action in the RA axis to start with. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, um, lift these up and then I'm going to let them go at the same time from here and we're going to time them unless it's obvious which one pendles the best. Okay, here we go. So after about six, seven seconds, that is, uh, CGX is stopped. CGM slowing down, but there, about 12, 13 seconds, the CGM is stopped. But quite clear to me that the, the uh, friction is a lot higher in the non hypertune mount. Whether or not it's a big issue uh, stands to see, but this one is a lot better. So we're going to try and do the same on the deck axis. Okay, so uh, to test the uh, uh, declination axis, all I will do is basically I've got two indications here on the on the uh, 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 mounting rail on my um, OTA here. And what I will do is that I will I've got it now in the balance point where it's nicely balanced. Thing is fine. You can just push it like this, and it's it's just moving lightly. And I also have the point marked uh, at the center of the rail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to shift this to the center point. Naturally, since we have the big mirror and the focal reducer, etc. Here, it's going to be yeah, heavy on that end. So, to no surprise, I can feel it already. Once we let this go, I'm going to try to clamp this down properly so we don't have it. When we let this go, it starts swinging. And quite loosely, which is nice. So, alright then. So, we're going to do the same thing here. Same OTA, but this time on the a brand new CGX mount with the declination axis unclutched sitting at 90 degrees so we're gonna let this go and see how long it pendles letting go in one two there yeah. yeah I'm not even sure I'm counting that one second there let's do it again see if it just needs some convincing Okay, let's go further up. Let's go just above 90 degrees. Oh dear. Yeah. I do understand the hyper tuning now, I can say. This is quite shocking. You you can't balance the the declination axis in a, in a you know, trustworthy way when it's doing like that. I mean, I know where it's center balanced now, but I need to do it on some other mount or something or um, balance it separately because there's no way to balance on the mount in a in a you know <clears throat> accurate way when it's this sticky yeah all right okay so mount is fully unclutched or the declination is unclutched it's really sticky really really sticky for being unclutched but anyway so I'm gonna try and see how what that means uh, Got the right ascension clutched in. So I'm just gonna try this. 
for being an unclutched uh, uh, it's it's moving quite nicely I would have thought that it would be disengaged from the from the motor but obviously it's not so that must be some kind of a problem maybe um, and would uh, explain the stickiness if it means that it's not never actually um, unstuck the gears or the, the motor yeah there's a the clutch in I'm gonna do the same here I'm gonna actually I'm gonna unclutch all both the right ascension and the declination and now we're gonna move them well okay then unclutch unclutched right ascension moves nicely Unclutch declination also moves nicely. Okay, so there the de right ascension can't really move there because there's not enough traction to it. Okay, so that doesn't. Move. So there's. Okay. Oh. Interesting. I mean, the declination is actually quite nicely stuck in there when you do that. Right, ascension is not, but I mean, if I if I go back to this position, it actually grips the shaft, but then it kind of loses traction as it gets some more weight on it. Declination, however, seems absolutely happy moving, even if it's clutched out. Don't know if this is. Uh, something that's fine if it's okay for it to be like this don't know I have no idea clutch it back in turn the power off and move to switch positions again yeah I'm going to send a ticket to Lustron about this as well, see what they have to say about that. Cheers! <laughs>